Welcome to my fish room. That fish wise. He's got uh, pleco. Fancy pleco. No, those are cardinals. He's got cardinal tetras. He's got rummy nose tetras. What's he's the red and blue ones. Are those not neon? Okay, Aaron. What is that? Neon tetra is a half a red belly. Uh, a cardinal tetra has a full red belly. Okay. So, uh, and he's got a cribs. Cribensis. There's, uh, there's crib. lacy bushy nose plecos, and there's two uh, red bushy nose from uh, a guy down in her own town who breeds them. Oh, yeah? Yeah. This is a sweet tank. I'm actually kind of sad to take it apart. I know. You should have saw it a month and a half ago. It was gorgeous. So you just got the two canisters and the CO2 system. Yep. And do you fertilize on the regular basis or just CO2 and CO2 and uh, I use. Um, you tell I've been doing it for a while. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you got me on my down. Flourish. But you know what? I was going to do that whole dosing regime and all that. Yeah. You know what I found? I, if I change the water less often, those plants grow like nuts. If I'm changing it constantly, like everybody says you should, they don't grow where the shit. Well, my buddy Steve, he is the laziest. Yeah. He's second laziest to me. Okay? He has crypts that are that tall. He's got Amazon swords with 98 leaves on it. He hasn't had a water change in eternity. Yeah. And when the filter crapped out, he just unplugged it. No. Yeah. And put a new one on it or no. just let it go without? Just left it. Really? And he's got like black ruby barbs breeding in there. Well, my bushy nose plecos, they were breeding like crazy. Yeah. Like it was unreal. So the, um,. The laundry sink back here, Carl. Yeah. It's ready to go. It's got a okay. nice large tap system for hooking up to do the changes. Okay. So you're good to go there. Why do you change your house? Oh, no, you just don't take it apart right. Well, clearly that looks all tangled to me. It wasn't tangled. Do you want to use mine? No, we no, like ours. Okay. okay, all right. You know, we're really weird that way. Well, no, I understand. I'll stay your way. All right. Well, Aaron's weird in other ways, too. <laughs> and you're weird in even weirder ways. You take after your father. Yeah, but... Not entirely. <laughs> not entirely. Yeah, I know. You're not perfect like me. I'm not perfect. Close. In my head, my boy is perfect. Ish. Okay, so let's start unplugging things. Right. Now I'm talking to the camera. them up and taking them. So where? Well, I'm putting a call to uh, oh, Gate Quality. <laughs> That's the thing. Okay, let's drain some water off to have water for the fishies. Once we start moving that gravel, it's going to be messy. Stacked the hose. I didn't have these stacked together, son. I know. It goes on the bottom of this one. You put it up to B? It felt like it should go there. You check it. See, that's where you're different from your father. So there was a comment on a video yesterday calling you a moron. 
and they call you. Oh no, they like me. And so I wrote down, he's my smartest son. And the person wrote back, sorry I didn't realize it was your kid. Okay, this is going to take hot water to get it apart. Why? This is a pail that's five sizes bigger. Why? And you jam, yeah, because there's like, what letters on this? There's a D on this. It goes after G. It goes after H. I think going to need hot water. I used hot water. I blew on it. Okay, hold the bucket up. So that it doesn't splash, you want to stay the perfect. No, that's not him, that's Abby. You gotta figure out what's going on with my phone, because I couldn't find Abby at all until he sent me a message and then I can find him again. So how am I supposed to figure out something if I don't know anything about this? You know everything about everything. And all I gotta do is yell at you until you do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If I yell at you loud enough, you'll know. Okay, so we got one filter on the bus. Apparently not the other one. Yes, my son. You're looking at it and tell me it's got a nozzle. That's the uh, knee rake. Okay, he's also got Malaysian live bear snails. Do we have any freshwater tanks set up at the shop? Well, we're going to have to get one for these fish. There's one with fish out red rainbows in it, and there's the one with the beers, and then there's one with the... Uh, well, we got to get those tanks set up. We you know. You could have been doing that last three weeks. You told me they couldn't retire from them. That thing, and then... That what thing? That one piece. What piece? So that I could use it to support the stand. Never mind. Really. You have to work, that's soft. Yeah, I mean. Oh, use the... the reciprocating soft. It'll yeah. work. Set that down. Okay, now let's take the plants out of time. Sorry, fishies, we won't be seeing you for a while. Can you grab it real quick? It says gravel. There's no gravel in here. Oh, I'm in it. That's mold. That's fish poo. Don't eat it, son. It's poo. And it's not the uh, poo that likes honey. Yeah. What happened to Honey Boo Boo? I haven't heard anything about her for a while. Well, she wasn't in it, but they made fun of her and spammed it to die. Honey Boo Boo Child? Yeah, I saw that. I was making fun of Evil Dead, which was funny. Well, they made fun of Charlie uh, Sheen, too. 
I guess you know you're successful when they Street. start spoofing you. Well, yeah. Well, uh, Walking Dead came out. I don't even think it was a week before Scary Movie 5 came out, but they had already spoofed it in Scary Movie 5. Oh, yeah? Like, most of Scary Movie 5 was about Evil Dead. Evil Dead or Walking Dead? Evil Dead. It's a scary movie that's a remake. Oh, okay. The late 90s, 60s, maybe, I don't know. I just gave you a big time death. Okay, put these, one of these in the back. Like, use our, the cheap bags. Uh, I didn't bring them in. Go get them! Well, why would you tell me to bring these, not those? Because these are for the fish. These aren't the good bags. These are the good bags. They're the same as the other ones, then. No, the ones that you had, that pack was uh, the bags that are like... That way the leaf won't get all tangled up with each other. Sure, all the heaters are unplugged.